Hello everyone, and so welcome back to another video. So, as you probably can see from the title, we have a little bit of announcement. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm still not used to being here. But me and Jack have bought a caravan. So, it's a holiday letting business, it's not just for us. So, we have came up today. I'll talk to you a little bit more inside because like I say, I'm too nervous to vlog outside still. So. I just thought I'd show you the outside of it so far. So we literally just got it yesterday. So this is it here. So you can see the heating's on. We these aren't temporary, by the um, permanent. By the way, I will explain these in a second. But like I said, I just wanted to come in. So here we are. So this is the entrance way. This is just when you come in. This is the kitchen, and then we have the living room. Um, I don't know whether to do like a proper full blown tour first. And then explain it, yeah. or <laughs> you eating a biscuit, um, or should I explain it first and then do the tour? What do you think? I'll explain it a bit first and then we'll do the tour. So I feel like I can talk to you a bit better now. Um, so yeah, we <laughs> that's awful lighting on your face. Um, so yeah, we bought a caravan. Um, we have been looking at doing this for. A month? Are you just fucking off, eh? Well, I can't, I can't see. <laughs> um, for a month. Turn a bit. Oh. There we go. Um, yeah, so we were looking... I don't even know where to start with explaining it. We've... <laughs> I don't even know. It's so hard to talk. We've been looking for investment opportunities for a while. Yeah, we've always known that we wanted to invest in a business, start a business. Yeah, property type. Yeah, from... Uh, as long as... Well, I wouldn't say as long as we've been together, because we've been together since we're like 14, but for a long time, we've wanted to be getting to property, property development, like holiday property, anything. And in, what month are we on now? April. In February, mm -hmm. I saw somebody was selling their lodge on Facebook, and I was like, oh, that could be an idea. And then it just spiraled from there, really. We decided we wanted to go for it. And then we had to find a park that would let us do this because there's a lot of parks in Northumberland, obviously, because it's a tourist destination. But there isn't a lot that will allow you to let them out to other people. So we had to find somewhere that wasn't just going to be like, no, you are the only ones allowed to use it because we can't afford to just have a holiday home just for ourselves. And that wasn't the point of it anyway. Like, we don't own a house ourselves anyway, so it wasn't really a priority for us to have a holiday home. This was mainly a business decision. It just so happens that we also get a holiday home in the making of that decision that we can use sometimes. So the plan is to let it out all year round as often as we can, and then we will just stay in it when it's free kind of thing which hopefully won't be that often mm -hmm. but if it is free we will use it kind of thing so yeah then we found this park the park is called percy wood i don't what's the word percy wood um holiday park and golf course holiday, i don't even know holiday retreat, I think it's technically. right okay so this is based in obviously northumberland because that's where we are from and it is in a little village called Swarland, which is just kind of off the A1. It's kind of mid-Northumberland, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, maybe a little bit further south, but mid-Northumberland. Mm -hmm. mid and it's just off the A1, which is if, if you, I mean, you, you guys will know the A1 if you're from the UK, but if you're not from the UK, it is the main road going up and down the UK. So it's so easy to get to. It's literally like five, five minutes off the A1. So it's about 45 minutes from where we live, so it's not that far from us, which is handy because we are going to be heavily involved. Like, we are doing this. It's not, we've bought it and then we're giving it off to an agency. Like, we are managing this. We are promoting it, doing everything for it. So, yeah, so we found the park and then they had a few for sale. They had, like, seven seven mm -hmm. caravans for sale and yeah. then we just had to pick which one we wanted, really, and then apply... Like ages yeah we could not pick for the life of us there were so many but we are super super glad we went for this one in the end aren't we like like so glad this is like this was the best one 100 percent. it's just we the other one that we we finaled it down to like two and the other one was more like family based rather than this one which is very like looks oh, yeah. yeah glamour kind of thing so we're very glad we went for this one so we picked this one 
three weeks ago and then it just took two three weeks for the finance to get sorted for it to get cited because we also got to pick the plot so this was situated like on the other side of the park really wasn't it and then we got to pick which plot that we wanted so we picked this one which I'll show you a bit more around in a second but we picked this one so it took two or three weeks just to get it cited to get the electric to get the aerial to get everything sorted essentially and then we got the keys yesterday and we were up here not for very long but we wanted to be here for longer because we gave Oakley to my grandparents to look after just while we sat because we had signed stuff and everything so we didn't want him to be kind of just like sitting waiting about for her so he hasn't been up which is also going to be in this video him seeing this for the first time so we didn't stay very long and then we went to look at garden furniture because there's there is a plan to get decking and stuff which i'll go through after i've shown you everything i think but i just wanted to talk through a little bit like how this why this has happened but it's so exciting we we're in love with it like it's so amazing here and the location's just brilliant the feel of the park is so nice we've been really fortunate for having good weather today and yesterday when we came up so it just feels like amazing being up here doesn't it because yeah. like i've mentioned in other videos we don't really have a garden or any outdoor space so just being up here in the countryside it's just incredible like mm. it's incredible so yeah the caravan's a little bit bare at the minute because obviously it is just we've just bought it we didn't want to buy anything for it before we got the keys in case we just didn't think that it suited it there are things like bedding and stuff that we didn't really want to get by until we got the size right and things like that like the tv as well so it is a little bit bare so like keep in mind this is an empty caravan tour kind of thing but yeah that's that's <laughs> that's it right yeah. yeah so i'll show you around a little bit now so i'll put this table back that we that i just moved to use as a prop do we have to cut this out but you should do like a, a fitness montage <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Oh, should I do a montage? I need to do a montage. I'll put the lights and stuff on. Right. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show. I'll do. Pockets. What? Put in your pocket. Okay. I'll do a montage and then we will talk round it. enjoyed that montage i hope i am um, managed to do it okay so i started off from where we started so this is the front door and um, this is just we have like a lovely little seating area where you can put shoes and sit whilst you're taking off so you come right into the kitchen featuring jack the kitchen is kind of huge isn't it there's so much storage in this and uh, so on this side we have like a little nice like i don't know what would you call it like a cabinet yeah. ver like visual space which is shelved and then we've got like huge cupboards in there obviously dining table which is lovely glass there are copper fittings throughout so they have them all over the um cupboards and the splash what is that called a splash bag the yep. thing that's on yep. there, that's copper as well. So all of these are also soft clothes as well, which is just lovely because we have soft clothes at home and I think we would have been slamming everything <laughs> without it. Integrated microwave, integrated fridge freezer, which is a huge space. Um, oven, hob, everything that you'd need essentially from a kitchen. I know I'm just going through everything, but just in kitchen things. Yeah. Do you want to film it? I'll point I'll go through the living room. You film it. So obviously in the living room you've got views out to the front. So I'll show you the plot a little bit now. So at the front 
is a little bit of woodland that you can see out there. I'm just opening it in case you can't really see because of the reflection. But over at the, like here is the golf course that's included within every stay because it's there just for owners. And you can't really see it from in here, but when you're outside, you can. Like over here is the Cheviots. So you can kind of see the Cheviots. In the summer, this will all be kind of like more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? More bushy. grown, more bushy, so it'll be a lot more like nature focused and you probably won't be able to see those caravans as much. But once we have the deck in here, these are all like... Are these French double doors or are they just French double doors? doors? French doors, yeah. And we have like windows that loop round to the side as well. Obviously just seats, there's nothing really more to say about the seats. Then here we have, we will be getting a TV unit for here. Not TV unit, TV for there. We just need to buy it because we weren't showing the size in. Then we have this fireplace, which oh my god is so fancy. Um, Jack will show, like look at it. You've got the time on it. You can set the temperature to it. It does have a heater on it as well. You might not be able to see very well. Jack, put the backlights on. So it has backlights as well as being quite fancy in itself. I know you can't see very well because of the reflection, but yeah. So the plan for this is that we're going to get the TV. Disney Plus is going to be included. Uh, it's all hooked up to like Ariel and stuff. So there will be TV as well. And yeah, so this is kind of like the main space. I'll talk through the deck in after I've shown you through here. So we have the bedrooms. I'll show you in here first, which is the spare room. So in here, like I say, we don't have any bedding or anything yet. There are two twin beds, but they do actually push together and make a double as well. So we're probably gonna market it towards like families with two kids or just couples on a getaway kind of thing, because this can be pushed together to make a double bed. We, oh, you can see there's some doggies out there. Honestly, I love it here. We have wardrobe space. There's a mirror behind here, but I think we're gonna change that. Um, storage up there. Obviously, like I said, we haven't decorated or anything yet, so it might change a little bit. This is the bathroom. It's gonna get really echoey, so I apologize. Just standard kind of bathroom. There is storage everywhere, like everywhere. And the shower. The shower has a cute little seat in it, which is just amazing. I was absolutely buzzing with that. So if you just get knackered in the shower, you can just sit down. So yeah, amazing. Then, finally, coming on to the master bedroom. Oh, I forgot to take these. These were from when we were putting the mirrors up yesterday. Um, we have a king-size bed with storage, not storage, um, spotlights. Is the spotlights down lighting? Spotlighting? I don't know. Something coming down. And... Huh? No, it's alright. Don't worry. Obviously, the bedside tables. Again, more storage there wardrobe we also have jackson the way <laughs> a little dressing area which i think again I might get a different mirror for and i also want to get a mirror with lighting on if we can because it's just not great lighting and i understand that you kind of need lighting for mirror in here we have all oh, the lights on um on suite again just very basic but still storage and everything behind it and yeah, that's kind of it. It's a lovely, lovely van. There is so much room. I don't know how well you can probably tell, like, on camera for how well the space, like, how big the space is. But there is, like, so much room, isn't there? Like, so much room. It feels absolutely huge. So, in terms of the decking, hang on. We'll get set up. So, in terms of decking, we have got the decking all sorted. But because of COVID, there was like a huge backlog for getting it in installed. So we're not actually going to be able to get it done for like three or four weeks yet. So in terms of rules when people are out of stay, from the 12th of April, people are out to come with one household. Like not with one household, as one household, you can come away and stay places. So this is available for booking from the 12th of April. But obviously we won't have decking then. So what are you trying, what are you trying to say? context that's about two weeks time yeah yeah if you're not watching this one film then that's in two weeks so there will probably be like two or three weeks where this is available to book without the decking unfortunately but there's nothing we can do about it we're just gonna have to like just rent it out as how it is 
essentially but there is some room on the other side not the other side on that side to so still sit out on the grass so if i take you out there is some room out like there's plenty of room to sit out here when there isn't decking like there is loads of room to still be able to feel like you are connected to the outside space without the decking so there's nothing we can do about it but the plan for the decking is should we go outside would that make more sense let's go outside right so the plan for the decking is obviously at the front there is all this space but we're not actually we're not actually allowed to go down further than when the ground starts to drop away it's about, so, about that stick what about where the stick is here yeah we're, we're only allowed to go where that stick is essentially so that's how far the deck is going to come out at the front but then the plan is we're going to come all the way out here and then down here as well to have like a more <laughs> you drive me insane with filming you're like padding around everywhere I'm, where you're pointing explaining. right okay right the <laughs> the deck is going to come out to over here so at the minute we don't have a plan to get a hot tub because the hot tubs are just in i'm reaching for the camera are just too expensive for what we can afford right now when we've just bought this so the plan is to like get some bookings in hopefully get quite a few bookings in and then look at getting a hot tub installed later so at the minute the decking's just gonna have seating on we're hoping about we're hoping we're gonna get a barbecue things like that and then eventually hopefully we can get a hot tub like place sunken into the decking so that's the that's the idea so this is the kind of views that we're going to get when sitting on the decking which is just beautiful this is the most serene thing like this is going to sound like like rubbish but when we were signing the stuff because we signed the stuff in the caravan a deer ran by like didn't it like it literally a deer ran by it's absolutely insane because the sales guy was saying oh you'll probably see some deer at some point and then a deer ran by literally like five minutes later so it was absolutely insane so yeah that is that is the view from our caravan and that is it oh i haven't even said the name the, the name of the caravan is going to be hedge hope and the name of the company is mountain and moss so hedge hope is a mountain in the cheviot that's why we call it hedge hope and we just like the name mountain and moss so yeah i'll leave the link to all of our socials below i'm also going to leave the link for the airbnb because obviously you guys will be able to rent this out as well this is literally open to anyone it's actually mainly we're going to list it on airbnb but it's on things like tripadvisor it's not on booking.com yet we're having a proper faff with booking.com but it'll be on a multiple multitude of places but we can you can also book direct through us we also will be doing like discounts if you book directly through us because we save money because on booking.com and other places both of us have to pay a fee so like if you guys book this you have to pay a fee but then we also have to pay a fee so we'll give you we'll give you discounts if you come directly through us so i'll leave the link to the social medias below um, but what was I saying? I think that was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Should we get Oakley? Do I do that or the montage first? Well, I'll do the montage I'll first. Do right. Okay, Jack's gone to get Oakley so we can see it for the first time because he hasn't been in at all. He's just been in the car whilst we've been filming all that. So we shall see what he makes of it. I'm so I'm nervous that he's gonna trash it, but should be. But they'll they'll be all okay. <gasps> hey handsome, what's this? Where are we? What's going on? What's Hello. happening? Yeah. Wow, we what's going on? <gasps> Be careful. Oh, Oakley, off. <laughs> Good boy. You having a sniff? Yeah, what's all this? Keep off, good boy. Wow, he. He looked like he loved it out there. Right now, come here. You're not jumping off. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, off. Can you pass this leg, please? Thank you. Come on, <laughs> oh. Is that outside? Is that outside without having to go down some stairs? <laughs> Probably hasn't got a clue what's going on. Wow, <laughs> Yo.
yeah i did forget to mention this is going to be pet friendly obviously there's going to be a just a t little little surcharge come on get a for it um but that'll all be on the airbnb thing that you book on if you are deciding to book i was i was saying this to ellen yesterday was it ellen or beth like how amazing would it be if a subscriber booked it yeah and came and was like yeah i'm a subscriber off. get off good boy like so if any of you guys do want to book please book because i'd love to have a subscriber come and stay and i'd also like leave a message if you are a subscriber um on the airbnb like put like a i think you can do what they're called inquiries yeah. like say you're a subscriber because it would be amazing to know if anyone who's subscribed to this is booking it so yeah that's uh, hi babe yeah go with dad so that's it uh, the only other thing that i wanted to talk about was the park um the park is beautiful it's so nice it is a caravan park and lodge park so there are caravans and lodges everywhere but they're all really nicely spaced out and like i said like we have this big um wooded bit at the front and they're all nicely spaced out there is um facilities on site so there's things like there's a tennis court the golf course there's a laundrette what else was there kids play about, yeah big sports, big kids sports. adventure um adventure play park thing and they're all included including the tennis court and the golf course so yeah pretty pretty lovely place to be honest so i think that's gonna end it there oakley is loving it he absolutely loves it here let, what, let go oh he's sniffing dad's feet at the minute my feet. <laughs> you having fun it's my shoe. <laughs> right when i filmed him the only thing that he's interested in is the things he can get at home that's froggy wowie Oakley, that's froggy having it he's having a good sniff so yeah that is gonna finish off this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um this is super super exciting for us we absolutely love it here and i hope you guys can come and stay if you are looking to book a um what's the word i'm looking for Hol nah the the like staycation because obviously people can't really get away this year so yeah we are completely free for the whole year currently we don't have any time booked uh so yeah please get in contact if you would like to book but obviously that's not what this video is for it's literally just to bring you guys along with us and show you what we have purchased and our exciting little life update so yeah thank you so much for watching please let me know what you think if you are new please don't forget to subscribe there's probably going to be a few hauls like homeware hauls for this coming up so yeah stay subscribed to see them coming up and i shall see you in the next video chickpeas bye thank you so much for watching